Today we're comparing two very popular 3D printers, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and the Bamboo Lab P1S. Let's talk about the differences on these two printers and choose which one's right for you. Choosing the right 3D printer can be a daunting task, especially with a variety of options because there's so many printers on the market now. Two popular choices from Bamboo Lab is the A1 Mini and the P1S. They each offer unique features and advantages. And today I'm gonna break down the differences of these two printers and figure out what might be a better fit for you. First, I wanna talk about the price and value. One of the most significant considerations for buying a printer is the price, right? The A1 Mini is notably more affordable, being $400 cheaper than the P1S. And yes, prices do fluctuate, but it's a couple hundred dollars at like, the difference is pretty crazy. For those on a budget, the A1 Mini presents an attractive option. And for a lot of beginners, I know you're a little bit nervous about getting like into the hobby, you don't want to spend too much. Are you going to like this? Is it going to be a phase thing? So that's one huge thing to consider. Next, let's talk about printing needs. Your specific printing needs play a crucial role in determining the right printer. The A1 Mini is well suited for printing basic small play toys and trinkets in PLA. However, if you have projects that involve larger items like cosplay parts or functional items that require engineering grade materials, the P1S is a better option. It kind of depends on what you want to print. If you're just looking to print PLA, the A1 Mini is perfect. If you want larger items like cosplay parts or more functional items, or you're looking to print things in extensive materials like other than PLA, then the P1S might be a better option. Another difference of the P1S is it features a bigger build plate, operates on a core XY system. This provides more speed and slightly better print quality. And yes, the A1 Mini can still produce excellent prints. It's just the P1S opens up more material options, a bigger build plate, and is core XY instead of a bed slinger. So it's definitely much more powerful and faster and generally slightly better print quality. Hopefully that gives you a little guidance on that. I know it's just like, it's so close and it's just like, Ugh. Next, let's talk about multicolor printing. The automatic material system, also called an AMS, is notable feature for both printers. For the A1 Mini, the AMS Lite offers a fantastic experience, especially for multicolor prints. However, if multicolor isn't a priority, the P1S might be the better option. Next, let's talk about space and convenience. The A1 Mini offers a better user experience with a little better intuitive screen and UI. The user interface is just a little bit more beginner friendly and it's easier to use. And it also features a quick swap hot end, making nozzle changes swift and easy. I have never seen a 3D printer like that you can change the hot end as fast as you can on the A1 Mini. I just, I gotta note that. The A1 Mini is slightly quieter and easier to maintain due to its bed slinger design. However, bed slingers also have their downsides, such as a potential for prints to be thrown off the bed, and it also makes layer adhesion more critical. Whereas that P1S comes with an enclosure. You know, a lot of people say that uh, sometimes their cats mess with 3D prints or pets. Also, the temperature fluctuation sometimes reflects your printing. It depends what materials you're printing. For example, ABS, it, it, you know, sometimes these temperatures are a big deal when printing certain materials. So in conclusion, both the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and P1S are excellent 3D printers. The A1 Mini is an affordable, user-friendly option suitable for smaller projects and those who value ease and maintenance and a quieter machine. But on the other hand, the P1S is a powerful, versatile printer, ideal for larger, more complex projects. And you can also print a broader range of material options. And it has a better, a tiny bit better build quality. Ultimately, the choice between the A1 Mini and P1S will depend on your specific needs, budget, and workspace, and what your plans are for 3D printing. What are you going to be printing? Hopefully this video helped you learn what printer you're going to be choosing, the A1 Mini versus the P1S. I own both these printers, and my advice is just to buy both of them. No, guys, I don't know. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you guys have any other further questions. I'm a normal dude and do reply. And before you go, I want to show you this short little clip of me and my daughter battling on the collapsible swords that we 3D printed. The print has finally finished, and I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good. Let's take it off the plate here. All right. Man, this thing's cool, right, guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. <laughs> How did that break? Oh. You win.